Hello everybody, it's Dusk Moss and I have put together a place for all of my carnivorous plants. This is Cersei and the Scarlet Bell. It's dorm in its dormancy period. I have it on heat mat to try to bring it out of its dormancy period. I have a scar Cersei purpurea. Um Nepenthes Alta. Uh Drosera capensis or Cape Sundew. A flytrap plant, Drosera spatulata, which is just coming out of dormancy. Um, and here are some of the low light plants that I have with them because they require about the same heat and humidity ish, kind of. Well, they'll grow better with it. This is the red nerve plant. This is a Pileo watermelon variegated, or red. This is Pileo watermelon, and it's just regular. Um, this is the Syngonium white butterfly. It has pink veins. Um, and then I forget the name of this one in the center. It is not what it looks like, because it looks like parsley. Um, this is... This might be a Chinese evergreen, I forget, or polka dot plant, or polka dot. This is a Syngonium white butterfly. This is a Thai basil. Samurai. Oh. This is the Samurai snake plant, or Samurai sword. What does the tag say? Sansevieria, but it's been reclassified to Dracaena, I think. That is an orchid. This is a Toansia, but it was sold to me as a um, bromeliad. Well, not an orchid. This is Toansia. It was sold by uh, bro as a bromeliad. This is a uh, another orchid that's a, quite a bit bigger. I just got it on sale in the clearance aisle. The flowers were dead, but it was just at, after it flowered, so I'm looking forward to see it flower next year. Um, this is the um, Syngonium Maria, or Mary. This is my Dracaena. There is a few other plants down there. A few plants on the windowsill. And then my money tree. There is a um, Norfolk Island Pine, but I think it's actually a cook pine, as far as I could find from my research, because they messed up on identifying the Norfolk Island Pine, and it and they actually identified the cook pine as the Norfolk Island Pine, but to me it's a Norfolk Island Pine, as far as I know. There's a Quantro, a uh, Pileo. Uh, succulent that I don't remember. Here is the, um, it is the, what is it? I forget, but I have had it in a few other videos. Usually I can remember the name of it. I also have something that most people are very excited to see. It's a philodendron burly max. I had to order it, and so far it's not doing so well. It's probably because I've let it dry out so many times. And also, I have this this little air plant planter. Here's a Tillandsia inantha, probably. Here's another Tillandsia, I forget the name of. This is Spanish moss, uh, twin, different type of Tillandsia. And I think that covers most of my plants in here. I'll stitch the other video of the plants in the other room. Okay, so now I'm in the other room. Here's some more Tillandsia, so I don't know the names of any of them. But you can probably find them, except for this one for some reason. Here is a um, one of my aloes from my aloe collection video. You could 
if you want, you can yell and try to identify it. I forget right now. I think it's Coral Bell Aloe. There's my catnip plant. My cat has actually gotten into it. Here is my Monster Deliciosa. Bird of Paradise. Elephant foot. Oh, elephant brush. Um. Portio Carry Afra. Here's a uh, jade. And here's the golden jade. There's a. Uh, Echeveria that I really like. I'll show it in another video. Here is the um, purple shamrock or false shamrock. Here is all my aloes right now. I probably should be giving them more light, but I'm not. Um, here's some not so well plant and a also not so well plant forget the name of them I think they're also at your various here's a Dracaena then down here's the dying Dracaena it probably got root rot and then here is a giant air plant here's my hand for comparison and here is the regular air plant versus my hand and then here is the just Gavney's basil.